Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we end up at a function where it's easier to solve for the arc length using a function of y instead of a function of x. So let's sh let me show you why that is so. So let's say we have two points on a curve and of course we can call this curve a function of x and notice that the x and y value of each of the two endpoints are called AC and BD. So we're, X, we're trying to find the length from point AC to point BD. Now if the function is something like this, where f of x equals y, which is equal to x squared, then it's pretty easy to simply call this a function of x, and then the solution for that, the arc length, can then be defined as the integral from x equals a to x equals b, so we use x limits, of the square root of 1 plus f prime of x quantity squared times dx, and of course f prime is the the derivative of my function f of x. But sometimes the function isn't quite like that. The function may, some, may be something like this, where the quantity y minus 1 cubed equals x squared. And then if we take the square root of both sides, we can see that x equals plus or minus uh, y minus 1 to the 3 halves power. And then if we just take the positive side of that, because that may be where we're trying to find the arc length, then notice it now becomes a function of y, which is equal to x, which is equal to the quantity y minus 1 to the 3 halves power. And then when we try to find the arc length, we use this integral instead. We're now integrating over y limits. We still have the square root of 1 plus, but now we have the, the um, derivative of the function in terms of a function of y. So now we have, it's kind, of, it's kind of turned over on a 90 degree angle, so to speak, and we end up with the square root of 1 plus the derivative of the function with respect to y squared times dy. And you'll get the same result. Now, the reason why we do this is because it's simply easier to do that than try to make this a function of y. If you turn this into a function of y, it gets kind of a a gnarly integration, you don't want to deal with it, so you're just trying to simplify it. So sometimes you want to write in terms of the function of y, like we did over here, instead of using a function of x. Turns out that we'll show you an example where we take the very same function and we solve it both ways, and of course we would expect to get the exact same answer for the exact same arc length, and it does. It does give you the same answer, and in some cases it doesn't matter which way you use, it's both of them probably equally easily, but sometimes it makes it a lot easier to do it like this than to use it as a function of x. So you, you have the choice, and sometimes this is a good choice. And that is how it's done.